Hello everybody, Bradley here, and in just a couple of hours, the Civ Give 2020 is starting. If you don't know what the Civ Give is, I am here to answer all your questions, get you hyped up, let you know how you can best experience the Civ Give, but also let you know how to donate to the, the children's charities we are raising money for. Basically, the Civ Give is a nine-person free-for-all multiplayer Civilization VI match being played at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern today, just a couple of hours after this video comes out. Nine of your favorite Civ content creators are getting together in this multiplayer match to raise money for a variety of children's charities. We're raising this money through Extra Life, and what that means is that each of us has a different donation link. My link will be in the description below. If you donate to any one of the streamers, the money goes into a pool and counts towards a team goal. For instance, our team goal is $5,000, and we've already raised over $1,500 uh, between all of us content creators. But because we all live in different areas and have different children's charities to support, the money actually goes to the charity of the person you donate. To. For instance, if you donate $25 to my link below the stream here, I live in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. So I've picked the British Columbia Children's Hospital as my charity of choice. So your $25 will go there, but it'll show up in the big 5,000 pool as $25, regardless of who you donate to. So if you live in the US, you might want to pick both Theus or Foibles links. I'm sure they picked American children's charities and children's hospitals. Hunter Games Hunter Days lives in Australia, so maybe he has an Australian charity for you to donate to. Either way, it all goes towards a team goal, but in terms of which charity actually gets your money, it depends on who you donate to, but don't worry because all of the charities are a great cause, and it's just so nice to be able to raise money to, to help out out, um, some really good charities in this event. There are some really cool incentives for donating as well. If you're watching the game, I personally, it's different for each streamer, I personally have incentives set up on Extra Life so you can pay and donate to rename cities in the match. That way the Children's Hospital of BC gets your money, which is awesome. You get to rename a city, which is great. And there's a sneaky one in there. If you're watching this video and you want to get in ahead, there's one redemption for naming the capital city. So if you want to go, I can't remember how much it costs, I want to say $35, but if you want to go and get the capital city of my empire in this game that is there but just know throughout the game there'll be different incentives for you to donate some of them are predetermined like naming a city some of them will just come up naturally in the game i declare war on someone right i'm demolishing them and maybe they're like hey how much does it cost for peace and i'll say look if you're if your supporters donate 20 bucks I'll, I'll, I'll peace with you. I'll stop destroying your empire. So a lot of things will come up during the game, but a lot of things are predetermined as well. So you can head to the Extra Life pages of all your favorite Civ streamers to check out what their incentives are. I know 100 games for like 150 bucks is gonna shave his head during the stream, which is wild, but everyone's got their own thing going on. So check it out. And then you can make an educated donating decision. If you would like to watch the Civ Give, which I'm assuming you will want to, there are two different ways to approach it. First is from a singular point of view. All of the streamers in the Civ Give will be playing their own point of view on their own stream. So there's going to be a whole bunch of people live at the same time. So if you want to see what I'm doing, what I'm saying, what I'm feeling, right, I'll be streaming my point of view. We're all going to be in a Discord, so we have push to talk. We're all going to be chatting with each other, but I'll have a little side commentary going on just for my chat on stream. So you can go to my stream or Bose's stream or Foible stream, etc. The only kind of kink to this is that the Civ Show crew, Nystagmus, Zozo, and Moy will all be playing on the same stream. So everyone else is individualized and those three are together. If you're hoping to catch all the action in one place and you're hoping to, to get a look at the strategy of it and see the overall game from a spectator's perspective, don't worry. We have two amazing casters casting this game. Vector Cat has a Twitch channel and his link is going to be in the description below this video. If you want to catch the whole game from like a really broad perspective and see what everyone's doing at the same time instead of just a singular point of view, feel free to head over to Vector Cat's stream to catch the Civ Give. Kind of like if you're a spectator with commentary um, from two amazing commentators. So you'll get a little bit of match commentary. It'll kind of be like watching a sports game uh, on, it's yeah, that's what it's like. It's kind of like watching a sports game on TV or having like a camera attached to the player's helmet or something. That's exactly what it's like. 
The last couple of things you guys will need to know is that this will be a nine player multiplayer game. Like I mentioned, we're playing it on a Pangea map. All of our civilizations, all of our leaders were drafted earlier, like a month and a half ago. And we've been collecting votes ever since. So you guys over the last couple of weeks, maybe months, I'm not sure exactly how long ago the draft was off the top of my head, have been voting for your favorite civs to be played. So for instance, I have Japan, Pericles and Cleopatra is my three options. You guys have been voting for weeks now. And each vote adds a ticket to the bucket. And right before a game time, we'll be drawing our sieve. So even at the point where I make this video, I do not know who I'll be playing or who anyone else will be playing. But I do know it'll be one of the three sieves that I drafted. It'll be on a Pangea map with some kind of turn timer. Michael is hosting the game. And I'm looking at the Discord right now. And Moisos is in the Discord saying, Michael, and I quote, Michael is hosting the game and he'll know what he's doing. So Michael is hosting the game and he knows what he's doing which is great but mostly everything standard we're playing with secret societies mode but we're not playing with apocalypse mode or dramatic ages or anything like that or heroes and legends we want it to feel like a regular game of civ a little bit of competitiveness mixed with a little bit of fun but generally if you come to watch the civ give you're gonna have a great time i hope you come check it out and i hope you stream hop Right, as much as I'd love for you to kind of hang out in my point of view, I think the best experience is going to be to stream hop a little bit, to catch the game from a broad point of view when things are happening, like a big war and you want to see the big picture. That type of stuff is so fun. All right, everyone, I think that's all the info you need. If you have any other questions, be really quick in the YouTube comments and I'll try to get to them as much as possible. I hope you'll tune in. I hope you'll donate a few bucks for a good cause. Thank you so much for being a part of this community and all of our communities. I'm going to say this on behalf of the other Civ Give people, even though I have not asked their permission to do this, um, but I would assume that they're all very appreciative of your support as well for this event. So tune in, have a great time. If you have any questions, let me know in the YouTube comments. I'll see you at 1 Pacific, 4 Eastern for the start of the Civ Give.